Hi everyone, so today I have an amazing video and this is going to be the workflow, the ultimate Huniyuan workflow and this has a lot of things going on. First of all, it is going to be ultra fast. I am uh, I have created this uh, video as you can see on 8GB of VRAM. So I am using wave speed. So I'll uh, mention some important things about it too. And uh, then I am also using LoRa. So I am using a John Wick LoRa. You can download, uh, a lot of them are available on Civit AI and other different websites as well. You can download any uh, anything you want. So you don't have to like download this. I have used this particular prompt and LoRa just to show you an example so that you have a known face and you understand how good it is in recreating uh, like uh, faces or maybe uh, there are LoRa's for anime style stuff like that. Don't use someone else's face without your permission. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. Now the thing is, I am actually using the GGUF version and uh, previously I thought that wave speed would not work with GGUF, but uh, it is working and this is uh, something pretty cool. So I'll come to the uh, installation part because a lot of people were saying Triton is uh, required, but I did not need it. So what I did was basically I came to the custom nodes manager and in the manager you can see I'll type wave speed right so you click on install and remember choose this version 1.1.0 the moment you try to install it from manager there will be an option to choose the specific version and the topmost will be nightly I tried to install nightly but it was not even installing so every time I restarted the uh, Comfy UI there was nothing. I don't know why it was happening with nightly so choose this version. This would be the second version 1.1.0. Choose this one and you would be good to go. Now uh, it is working on my device and I don't think my device already had Triton installed. So uh, you can try it and if you uh, have any kind of issues, if you face any kind of issues, you can mention in the comment section below and I'll try it out. I did not mess up or try to install anything else. A lot of people were saying they wanted the Triton installation tutorial as well. I did not try to mess up anything else with, uh, because it was already working on my uh, device. If there is some kind of problem, I'll try to look into it. Secondly, you can see I am using the GGUF Q3 version because this is 8 GB of VRAM. Now, if you have 16 uh, GB or uh, maybe 24 GB of VRAM, choose the higher version or you can also choose the non GGUF version. One thing I have noticed because I was also trying to run this on uh, RunPod, the non GGUF version gives a better quality. That is for sure. So if we are talking about quality, uh, that is the case but again like you can see this is not bad but you will get way better quality if you are using the non GGUF version but the original one requires like the more uh, VRAM you have the better like if you are having 16 or 20 or 24 GB VRAM that would be amazing secondly with the LoRa you can see I am using it at, as uh, full strength this is the same LoRa that we use for uh, like flux only the clip would be from here. Now here you can see what the connection, how this is built is that the model is actually coming to apply first a block cache and uh, to this node and then the model is going to LoRa and then this is going to model sampling SD3. I am using 7 and 7 because I have found that with the number of steps, this is perfect. One thing I'll say is that this is the normal version of uh, Huniwan video GGUF, not the fast Huniwan. And I'll tell you why. Here you can see the steps are 25. For 8 GB of VRAM, previously uh, it was taking around, I guess, 13 to 14 minutes uh, to generate a video. Currently it is taking 9.5 minutes. And this completely depends on this, the residual diff threshold. So you see 0 0.15 is uh, a very sweet spot because it uh, provides good quality as well as the speed is quite faster. You, I have tried it up to 0 0.17, 175. So if you try 
0.175. This is the highest till when I was getting uh, reasonably good results. After this, uh, the fingers or the eyes start to mess up. So remember that uh, zero point. I would suggest if you can like wait a little bit longer. Zero point one five is the best, or you can go with zero point one seven five. So very important. This is something on which your speed is actually based. Second thing. If you have lower steps, how this works is that the more steps you have, the faster, uh, like you can see the difference better. So if you are using fast union video, which has the steps of uh, seven, you would not see any difference because up to ten, at least ten or twelve steps, there is no difference in generation. After that, it starts becoming faster. So obviously, if you are going for twenty-five or thirty steps, you will see a very high fluctuation in speed. And this can actually be applied. The apply first block cache. This node can also be applied to flux. So you can see, and uh, you will get the links uh, in the description box below. So don't worry about it. The I have applied the apply first block cache and you can see the model is coming here and then it is going to lora and from there it is going everywhere else right so this is an image and here you can see 1408 this is the ratio i am using so 40 steps is taking so if you uh, run it for 25 steps it was taking around uh, Two minutes and ten seconds, and if you are running it for forty steps, it is taking two minutes and thirty seconds. So that is what I am saying. If you tried with uh, Hyper Lora or Flux Turbo, you would not see any difference. Again, this is working with the GGUF, but I have seen if you uh, use this like low diffusion model, if you use the non-GGUF version, the quality is is a little bit better. that is for sure but with ggof you'll find like uh, especially with uh, higher steps lightning fast speeds like it is reducing to half and there is no reasonable loss in quality you can see the quality i am not using any kind of enhancement lora or anything like that but uh, it seems pretty good it is not bad again you can see i am using 0.15 one thing if you take it to 0.175 or 0.2 you will start noticing when there are fingers it is starting to get a little bit messed up and the image is becoming slightly softer this is one of the things that i have noticed but other than that you can see that uh, everything else is pretty good now this another thing if due to some reason uh, wave speed does not work there is another node called as t cache so you can install it uh, from the manager as well so t cache also has uh, like t cache for image gen and t cache for uh, video gen right but uh, i have noticed that uh, when you are using it and the threshold is higher it is fast it is it works pretty similarly like wave speed but the difference of the image is quite high so i would not suggest to use it until and unless you can use wave speed comfortably so this was it for the video and you'll get this workflow in the description box below use it if you have any kind of doubt problem or anything like that mention it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you